Ah, il n'y a pas de micro. Ok. D'accord. Du coup, je recommence. Bonjour, End of the Light et Gaga. Oui, j'ai fini le jeu. Donc, End of the Light, si tu veux, je remets mes rediffusions sur YouTube. Elles y seront dans la journée. Normalement. Je disais aussi bonjour et bonne rediffusion à vous, YouTube. Donc, pendant que j'avais pas le micro coupé, je vous ai lu le speech sur le côté. Il a dit que les créateurs de contenu devaient prévenir l'audience de spoilers. Donc après un couloir blanc. Donc je vais essayer de prévenir. Mais je vous garantis pas que je l'oublie pas. Donc nous sommes partis dans la Rome antique pour une nouvelle histoire. Installez-vous bien et bonne découverte. Ce jeu a été sponsorisé par Terrali en cadeau d'anniversaire. Ce jeu a été développé par une équipe principale de trop... Eh D'accord, ce jeu est une aventure vous invitant à résoudre un mystère ayant plusieurs fins possibles. La force ne vous servira à rien, blablabla. Bla bla. J'ai pas le temps de tout lire. Nous voici dans le présent. alive when i dragged you out of the river i thought you were never gonna wake up i checked your pockets for id a phone maybe i hope you don't mind but all i found was some loose change so wanna tell me who you are Attends, alors ça, ça doit être une madame. Et ça, un monsieur, c'est ça Votre carnation. Euh, je suis désolée, mais moi, normalement, je suis blanc comme un cul. Hein euh, non, je vais écrire comme ça. It's nice to meet you. And I'm sorry to pry, but any idea why you were floating down the river? What's the last thing you remember? Alors, oh, d'accord, ça y joue un peu. Archéologue, des années à étudier l'histoire vous donne occasionnellement des perspectives sur le monde antique. Vous avez une arme à feu militaire, mais seulement 10 balles. Vous avez devoir utiliser à bon escient, car vous ne pourrez pas en obtenir d'autres. Je fuis je, grâce à ce temps passé à fuir les autorités. Vous êtes rapide et allez 25% de plus vite. Euh... Amnésique, votre récent droit ce crânien. Bah, écoute, je sais pas, mais je vais prendre euh, l'archéologue. Hein. Oh, you're an archaeologist? Then you'll definitely want to hear this. I don't know if it's exactly what you're looking for, but there are some ruins just behind you. Roman, I think. I need you to go in there and see if you can find a guy named Al for me. He went in there a few hours ago, and he hasn't come out. I've been freaking out, wondering if he's trapped, or injured, or worse. I would have gone in after him, but he made me promise to stay here, no matter what. There's no way I'm leaving without him. So I'm just kind of... stuck here, waiting. I need... what I mean is, I was hoping... you wouldn't mind going in there to find him? 
If you can do that, I can get both of you back to civilization in my boat. Please? Alors. Oh, of course. Sorry, I don't mean to be pushy. I just. What do you want to know? Ton nom, par exemple. Je peux pas changer. Je voudrais vérifier s'il n'y a pas du son en français, mais euh... je sais que j'avais mis les sous-titres en hyper gros pour que ça soit lisible sur YouTube ou si vous êtes sur téléphone. Mais euh, je suis désolée si pour ceux qui veulent juste suivre par, la, par, la, par le vocal, mais il n'y aura certainement pas de français. Oh, there's not much to tell. Feels like I've spent my whole life in a dead end job with an endless commute. Know what I mean? Ouais, en général, j'en veux euh, s'il y a des sous-titres où tu peux les mettre en méga gros. C'est ce que je fais. Comme ça, ça permet à ceux qui sont sur téléphone de pouvoir euh, regarder aussi. Surtout quand t'as pas le son en français. Oh, euh, I'd rather not say if it's all the same to you. All right, fine. Sorry if I sounded cagey, it's just that... I don't always get the best reactions when I introduce myself. My name's Karen. Uh, you're welcome. Always happy to help. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? He's the guy who washed up on the riverbank not long before you did. I thought maybe you two knew each other. I guess not. But... Maybe the two of you can piece together what you're doing here. In any case, you'll like him, I'm sure. Once you find him, that is. You really don't remember? We're in Italy. This river is the Tiber. Le Tiber. Not much, really. But imagine what you might find in there. Priceless ancient artifacts. Al. What am I, an idiot? You could hike a long, long way in any direction and never find another soul. Trust me. L'espèce de libellule derrière elle, elle me perturbe depuis tout à l'heure. Hein? Great. So you're ready to go look for Al? Thank you. The entrance is just past those columns behind you. Please, hurry. Oh, and he left this here. But I think you'll need it more than I will. Oui, une lampe de poche du coup. Nouvel objectif principal, qui proco entrer dans les ruines. J'ai pas lu ce que j'avais de l'autre côté. <rire> Inspecter. Une vieille barque en bois. Karen a dû s'en servir pour me sauver dans la rivière. The ruins are just beyond those columns. Please, hurry. Attends, j'ai l'impression que ça lag un peu. Oui, ça doit être que pour l'affichage. Hein. Euh, on va pas s'occuper de tout ça parce que la moitié des trucs, j'y comprends rien. 
entrer dans les ruines. Je suis déjà en train d'essayer de, fou... de, de fouiller partout. LT, c'est celui-là Oui. Chercher des indices. Euh... Ok. Ok. C'est ah, ça y est, c'est B pour sauter. Oula. Un sac à dos rempli de vêtements de randonnée utilisés et de sachets de nourriture vide contient rien de valeur, mais est tout de même étrange, cale. Les abandonnés. Je fais juste ça en fait et je vois rien de plus. If you're reading this, it means I've discovered the entrance to an ancient Roman city hidden deep underground. Its existence is long forgotten. All knowledge of it lost, except in the Latin inscription here. It reads, "You who wish to enter the city, step forth and be judged. The virtuous." shall be rewarded with eternal life in paradise. The wicked shall find themselves showered in gold, but in vain, for this shall be their final resting place. Alors, soit on couvre the city have remained a secret for all this time. The people have survived down there, against the odds. It seems there's only one way to find out. If I'm not back in an hour, I'm somewhere on the other side. Consider this an invitation. Or a warning. Al Worth. Ok. Donc du coup, soit on me couvre d'or, soit... Euh... Soit je tombe comme une grosse... Euh... Cité secrète. Ok. Ok, ok. Euh, ma lampe des poches. Ce serait mieux pour voir un peu clair.
Oups. On peut changer. Laisse-moi le truc par défaut. Non, je vais pas prendre une capture d'écran. Je suis moi. Il y a un bruit suspect. Bonjour Rocky Lynch. Ne te spoil pas du coup si tu veux. On débute et puis euh, je fais une petite heure. Donc il n'y aura pas trop trop de... Marche un grand pas. Qu'est-ce qui a pu faire fuir un gladiateur Il y a un bruit, on dirait que je vais me faire agresser là. J'ai l'impression qu'il y a une statue qui me suit. Non, The Sing City il a été terminé tout à l'heure. Là, on est sur The Forgotten City. Sauvegarde. J'ai l'impression qu'il y a une statue qui me suit. J'ai un bruit chelou derrière moi. F5, sauvegarder rapidement. F9 pour charger la partie. Oui. Euh, bah, on va faire F5 si tu veux. Mais euh, du coup, ce qui est embêtant, c'est que je suis à la manette. Un commandant militaire romain qui essaie de fuir précipitamment quelque chose. Un légionnaire romain terrifié. J'ai l'impression de me faire suivre. Donc bonjour à toi Coquilink, euh, comment vas-tu, que fais-tu J'ai pas envie d'essayer de sauter. Je sais pas encore ce que je fais ici madame.
Ça tombe quand je prends les escaliers. Statue d'or est un vieil homme aux vêtements modernes. Il doit s'agir d'Al. Mais comment est-ce possible Tablette de pierre gravée. Whoever reads this, I'm sorry you had to find me like this. And worse, she'll suffer the same fate I did. I've spent a lifetime in this place, going around and around in circles, searching for a way out. The inscription was right. There is no way back. And here there are only two options: death, and that godforsaken doorway into the past. I made the mistake of stepping through it. I wanted to set things right. And I tried. I really tried. Whatever I did, it took me right back to the beginning. Don't make the same mistake. Better to end it all now. And find out what awaits you beyond that portal. Okay, monsieur. Ça va bien. Eh ben, profite de ta grâce, Matt, et bon réveil à toi. Une jeune femme romaine en pleine panique. Oui, je t'entends. D'accord, c'est plus très loin, d'accord. comme s'il implorait la pitié des dieux. Ah ouais, ça a l'air de, de, de vraiment être doré. Hein. Ça fait le bruit. Hein. Une dépouille humaine, cet individu est mort il y a bien longtemps. Je peux éviter de t'écrabouiller, ça m'arrangerait. Un briquet vide. C'est ce dont Al a dû se servir pour allumer toutes ses torches. Ah, oh, c'est Sliders Attention spoiler, il paraît que c'est ça. Hein. À chaque fois qu'on fait un truc dans le, to dans le, dans le couloir blanc, faut que je dise attention spoiler. Franchir le portail vers le passé. Nous voici à Myosotis apparemment. Inspecter un relief romain représentant un portail circulaire. Deux femmes, je me demande qui elles peuvent être. Euh, va falloir que je trouve un truc parce que il y a des fois ça, ça lagouille un petit peu. Ouh. Alors, logiquement, j'ai un monsieur en face de moi. Je suppose très fortement qu'il faut que j'aille le voir. Oh bah j'ai pas le choix. Euh... Salve, friend. 
I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? Le Sanctuaire de Prospérine. I'm speaking Latin. You are too, although your accent's a little strange. Oh, I see what you did there, changing the subject like that. Nice try. But I'll ask again, who are you and what were you doing in the shrine? C'est monsieur Pro. Non mais c'est Galerius ça. Yeah, you know agricultural goddess of springtime you're not from around here are you and you've just done it again you're a sly one aren't you one more time who are you and what were you doing in that shrine je uh, sais pas si les say no idea what you're talking about oh wait are you a bit you know not right in the head <laughs> that's all right friend everyone's welcome here Ok. Il manque le, le corbeau pour que ça soit Monsieur Jambon. We sort of lose track of the date down here, but it feels like the beginning of spring to me, so I'd say early March. It's 817 AUC. Sorry, you look confused. 817 years since the founding of Rome. Which part of the empire are you from exactly? CE? No idea what you're talking about. But listen, most folks seem a bit confused when they get here, but you... you seem very lost, and in more ways than one. So let me make this nice and simple for you. Live by our law here, and we'll all get along just fine. Not laws, law. There's just one. The golden rule, and the punishment for breaking it's... Well, it's kind of horrific. But our magistrate insists we take all newcomers to see him, so I guess I'll let him fill you in. So then, are you coming? Follow me. Okay. I couldn't believe there were people living down here. But, as you can see, we've got a nice little community now. Si j'appuie sur A, il marche tout seul. Du coup, on peut, on peut regarder un peu partout. Aurélias. Drinks at my bar for free tonight. Uh, politics. I'd stay clear of it and her if I were you. She's. Uh, it's not my place to say. Down on your right is our farm, where I grow all the food you'll ever want. As long as all you want is leek, cabbage, and wheat. Ah, that one usually gets a chuckle. The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Ah. Don't mind Livia. She means well. She's just been in a bad place since. Well, you know, I don't know what happened to her. Up here on your right is the chasm. If you've got a weapon, it belongs way down at the bottom. Up on your left is the forum, where you can visit the market or get yourself patched up in Lucretia's clinic in the Shrine of Apollo. Most of us have almost nothing, just what we had on us when we arrived and what we've been able to make and scrounge up since. And this central plateau is where the magistrate and the other patricians live. So don't expect a warm welcome. Galerius, you're meant to be working the farm, not trudging dirt into the villas. Take it easy, Horatius. I was just taking our new friend here to see the magistrate. Well, he's asked me to escort the newcomer personally. The farm. Go. Now. You'd better go with him. But just remember, they're not like you and me. Don't let them use you. What was that? 
What did you just say? I said it'll take some getting used to. Yeah, I'm watching you, far boy. Greetings, citizen. My name's Horatius. Magistrate Sentius asked me to escort you to him personally. Follow me, please. Bon, bah on va le suivre. Follow me. The only thing you really need to understand right now is the golden rule. Let me see if I can explain it this way. When I was serving in the Legion, if there was a mutiny brewing in one cohort, the legate in charge wouldn't waste time finding the bad apples among hundreds. T'es fort, monsieur le cuit cuit. Je sais pas où t'es, mais t'es fort dans les oreilles. They just divided us into groups of ten, made us draw straws, and whoever drew the short straw had to be executed by the other nine. Didn't matter whether he'd done anything wrong. One of us in ten would die for the crimes of the collective. We call it decimation. If that seems like rough justice to you, you're in for a rude shock. Because the golden rule is exactly ten times worse. The magistrate can explain the rest. He's up these stairs. Okay. Ugh, this place has become a thoroughfare. Je veux bien, mais euh... Allez là. Oh, I wish Horatius would stop letting barbarians in here. What do you want? I'm Sentia, eldest daughter of the Magistrate. But you'd know that if you'd been invited in here and introduced properly. What are you doing in here? And why are you dressed like that? Really? I'd never have noticed what with your flawless accent, appropriate attire, and impressive mastery of our customs. Now, remind me, why are we having this conversation? T'as la même souffle, t'as la même pose quand tu dors. You know, some people say it's the creation of an all-seeing God who's watching everything we do. But what kind of an awful, incompetent God would let my sister go missing on his or her watch? Did you hear that? Curse you, you coward! Where is my sister? What do you have to say for yourself? No response. Nothing. <laughs> That's what I thought. I'm telling you, this mysterious god of ours has to be asleep on the job. Either that, or like people are saying, it really is just a children's fable my father is exploiting to frighten us into behaving. Hmm, I suppose we will. I trust you can see yourself out. Oh. Allons voir monsieur le magistrat. Je suppose que je fouillerai un peu partout euh, après. Hein. Un aqueduc sur mon quand même des bons vestiges romains les aqueducs par contre j'ai l'impression que les sons ils sont mal réglés hein. We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? Ça fait un peu Gaulois, Angélique. <laughs> a curious name to match a curious accent. But I digress. I see you have the piercing and astute eyes of Athena. You must be a woman of great learning. 
We're always happy to welcome another scholar to our little community. Equiteer will be delighted to meet you, I'm sure. Now, you're probably wondering why I summoned you, and I'll get to that. But first, take a look at this wondrous place, would you? A secret city built deep in the mountains many hundreds of years ago. Indeed. More importantly, consider the miraculous community we've built here over the last seven months. Mm -hmm. Twenty-two complete strangers brought together by the fates living and working together in our own little paradise. And in all that time, not a single sin has been committed. No fights, no theft, nothing. Have you ever witnessed something so extraordinary as a city without sin? No, I've never known a city where there was no sin. But the reason for this this miracle is as simple as it is terrifying. If even one person commits a sin here, every last one of us will die. You see, the builders of this place, whoever they were, left inscriptions warning, the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. From what we can gather, breaking the law here will anger the gods and provoke a terrible punishment. Like the curses of Medusa and Midas combined, turning us all to gold. We've come to call it. Okay, pas de péché, sinon on a Medusa et Midas qui nous transforment en statue d'or. That day is finally here. All that matters is that somebody in this city is about to break the golden rule. Why else would Proserpina send you now? Unless you and I can stop them, our doom is assured. I know that's a lot to take in, and you look like you have questions. Please, ask away. Okay. Qu'est-ce qui est considéré comme un péché Faudra peut-être le savoir, comme ça au moins on évitera de le faire. Intelligent question. There was a good deal of debate about that in our first weeks here. Does it refer to crimes or to some other ill-defined wrong? Of course, everyone agrees on the basics: no theft, no assault, and certainly no murder. But beyond that, it was more difficult to reach a consensus. What about lying, insulting someone, blasphemy? Trespass, trying to escape, bribery, infidelity, suicide. As magistrate, I had to exercise leadership, and so I made a decision. We must uphold the laws of the Empire to a standard never before seen. And we must honor the peace of the gods, the sacred accord between the gods and the people of Rome. It is only by offering the gods the proper respect that we may prosper as Rome has for centuries. We oui. Oh, si je lui dis ça, je vais m'en prendre une dans les dents. Barbaric. Barbaric. What are you talking about? The empire is the most civilizing force in the known world. Rome is a beacon of light in the darkness. For 800 years, she has borne great statesmen, philosophers, poets, artists, and engineers. We have comprehensive laws protecting the rights of our citizens, which have unified countless warring tribes all across the Mediterranean and beyond, from Gallia to Judea. All our citizens are treated the same, regardless of the color of their skin or their sexual preference. Can you say the same? When our people are starving, they are given food rations. And when they are wronged, they have the right to bring the guilty party before the magistrate. Our laws forbid treason, murder, assault and rape, as well as theft and arson and so on. No other civilization in the world is so advanced, and you have the, the hubris to call us barbaric? Alors... Of course, 
course, but with fewer rights come fewer responsibilities and the right to be protected by their fathers and husbands. Of course, what else would we do with those prisoners of war who would otherwise have been executed? And besides, there are laws for their protection as well. On occasion, but our gladiators are almost all volunteers seeking glory or condemned prisoners who would have been executed anyway. I do not see the harm. Tu vois que t'en as plein des dévots. Uh, you mean the blasphemous cult responsible for burning down half of Rome last year? It's hard to blame the people for being angry about that. Oui, mais ça n'empêche. Are you talking about our practice of decimation? Of course. We could hardly unite all these warring tribes without a disciplined, formidable legion. Well, right now, you're a long, long way from home. I have made my pronouncement on the subject. Unfortunately, there are still those here who resist, whispering blasphemous and treasonous lies in the shadows. I would be keeping a close eye on them if I were you. Why, why, why? You see, in my search for a way to save my people, I learned of an ancient ritual to Proserpina, the goddess of the cycle of life and renewal. It's said to open a doorway in time, so that if the unthinkable happens, one person can pass through it and travel back to the past. And when I saw you arrive in a flash of light from the goddess's shrine, I knew that person was you. Non, j'appartiens pas à ton époque. Do you? Donc, je suis l'agent de Prospérine. Two thousand years? That is unfathomable. Please tell me, in your time, what did you see? What had become of us, of this city? I have imagined it, our downfall, a thousand times. But it still breaks my heart to hear the truth of it. Alors, euh, comment le rituel fonctionne-t-il? All I can tell you is that it's a ritual sacrifice to Proserpina. I stumbled across instructions. I have to recite a prayer, and of course, as with all rituals, some sacrifice is involved. Usually that means wine or food, or in some cases a live animal. In this case, the sacrifice is rather more costly. The life of the person performing the ritual. Donc en gros, tu veux que je fasse un rituel pour mourir à ta place Me, in the future. I assume that was me. If I'm forced to perform the ritual, it's going to cost me everything. You'll try to make sure I don't need to use it, won't you? Je ferai de mon mieux, well, mais c'est pas rien de. Je vais pas te promettre de grand chose. Hein. Well, I believe you're in the best position to go around asking people questions. You're new here, and it'll seem perfectly normal. As for me, well, it pains me to say my attempts to impose order have not earned me many friends. I fear I may not even remain magistrate after today's election. The people here would only treat my curiosity with suspicion. You shouldn't have that problem, though, unless, of course, you get off on the wrong foot. Ok, 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 soupçonnez-vous des gens en particulier. Do you ever stare at a problem for so long that you can't see it for what it is anymore? What's needed here is a fresh pair of eyes. The less I prejudice the independence of your investigation, the better. Me? Why would you suspect me? I've just told you, 
Ça veut rien dire, ça. To ensure these people have a second chance. What reason could you possibly have to suspect me of all people? I'm glad you think so. Without trust, without each other, we won't be able to prevent what is about to happen. Ah, so you know about that already. It's a devastating loss, of course, but that was over three weeks ago, and whatever happened to her, it didn't break the golden rule. So I don't think it's connected with our imminent demise. Still, if you happen to find her and return her to me, I would be eternally grateful. Uh, well, all right. There are those who wish to vote me out of office so that they can pursue their own misguided political agenda. Frankly, their selfishness and recklessness risk destabilizing the entire city. I would be looking very carefully at them if I were you. Ah, good. So, are you with me? Can I count on you to figure out who's about to break the golden rule? Oui, je vais, je vais le faire. Now, I need you to investigate the city, talk to everyone, help them if it will win their trust. I authorize you to enter private homes and inspect possessions and documents, unless, of course, you're asked to leave. Figure out who the culprit is, and as soon as you have a name, come back and tell me immediately. Oh, and one last thing. If I were you, I'd start my investigation by visiting Lucretia at the Shrine of Apollo in the Forum. I heard wailing from there not long ago. Seems like something's not right. Ceci rendra la nouvelle quête prioritaire. Seuls les marqueurs d'objectifs seront affichés. Donc on doit aller au sanctuaire d'Apollon. Je pense qu'on va aller... Pour consulter à tout moment le, votre journal de quête et votre inventaire. Il va falloir que j'arrive à trouver un moyen de, de régler ça parce que là j'ai l'impression que des fois ça rame un peu. Alors... Cynthia exprime sa gratitude à Cyrus pour l'avoir adopté. De la part de Cynthia et l'intention de Cynthus. Puis Jupiter, Optimus, Maximus, continuez à vous protéger et à vous quitter. Je vous remercie d'avoir fait de moi votre fille et pour cet adorable pendentif que vous m'avez offert pour mon anniversaire. Je promets de le porter à chaque instant. Je me sens si chanceuse euh, d'avoir comme père et d'avoir Cynthia comme sœur. Je suppose que l'élection du mois prochain vous rend nerveux. Mais si vous parvenez à leur montrer l'homme fort et droit que vous êtes, vous serez réélu, j'en suis certaine. Elis, Elis, c'est lequel Elis Oui Ou alors il n'y a pas de page suivante. Hop. Oh, look, you're back. How lucky for me. What is it now? Ugh, what is it with you people? You heard the rumor that my little sister escaped and figure I must know a way out too. Is that it? Well, that's just a stupid rumor. 
We have no idea what happened to Centilla. I wish you mouth breathers would just leave me alone. I don't know. Can you? Can you tell me how a person could have disappeared from a city with no exits and no crime? Was she snatched away by the harpies? <sighs> it was three weeks ago. We ate our evening meal together, and I remember she seemed happy. In love. We went into our rooms, I went to sleep, and when I woke up, she was gone. That's it. I think so, yes. But she was very careful about keeping his identity a secret, even from me. Because our father had plans to marry her off, eventually, and even a rumor about her attachment to some mystery man might have ruined those plans. That doesn't surprise me. To him, it was like a prized cow wandering off from its paddock. He's upset, of course, but he says he's too busy with the election to help look for her. So he's letting Horatius do the heavy lifting. Some good that's done. I don't know, but it's been three weeks since she disappeared and he hasn't come forward. That might speak to the guilty conscience. All I know is, whoever he is, he's still here in the city. You really aren't from here, are you? All Roman women are named after their fathers. I think it's their way of branding us, like cattle to be sold at market. His family name is Sentius, so I'm Sentia because I'm the eldest. And my little sister is formerly Sentia Minor, but she is affectionately known as Centilla. I hope you're not insinuating I'm somehow pleased with her disappearance. You're awful. Get out of my villa and never speak to me again. Oh, ça va, arrête de grogner. Ok. Une cuisine. Cuisiner avec une si mauvaise ventilation est sans doute désagréable, mais les Romains voyaient peut-être cela comme le... comme le problème de leurs serviteurs. Ces carottes sont violettes, comme elles l'étaient quand les carottes avant que les carottes oranges apparaissent. Attends, 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 on recommence. Ces carottes sont violettes, comme elles l'étaient avant que les carottes oranges modernes soient cultivées. Un peu mieux. Petite fiole contenant un parfum rudimentaire fabriqué à partir de fleurs et d'huile. Peu de maquillage. Un pot en laiton contenant une sorte de poudre destinée au maquillage. Un miroir en laiton. On l'a poli le laiton pour en faire un miroir rudimentaire servant à se maquiller. Cher journal, aujourd'hui mon père m'a suggéré d'écrire un journal pour m'occuper. Le temps de faire face à la disparition soudaine et bouleversante de ma soeur. En tant que fille obéissante, je vais m'exécuter. Les pages qui, su qui suivent renferment mes secrets les plus intimes. Je sais que vous me lisez, père. Ma jeunesse n'est pas synonyme de crédulité. 
Tout le monde a le droit à ses secrets, Cynthia. Il a dit fallait pas voler. Imposant en céramique, l'encre ressemble faite à partir de suédo. Alors. Ben, la fiole, c'est la même chose que tout à l'heure, le miroir en laiton. C'est pareil. <coughs> Cynthia et Sentus, c'est Cynthia. Puissiez-vous trouver la clémence de me pardonner je suis désolée de devoir vous abonner ainsi, mais j'ai trouvé un moyen de m'échapper. J'ai décidé d'en profiter. J'espère vous revoir un jour. Oh oui, mais à quoi ça sert que t'aies une superbe porte si tu peux passer à travers les murs, hein Bon allez, on essaye de faire ça bien, je vous emmène jusqu'au temple d'Apollon. Citizen. Citoyen, ok. Je suis un citoyen maintenant. Par là, t'as l'air de pouvoir monter. Fresh me, hein? La chair fraîche. <rire> Mais comment il cause, lui? Je pourrais très mal l'interpréter, monsieur. Mmh. Là, tu grognes. Moi, bon, je m'en vais jusqu'au temple. Le temple d'Apollon. Avec un petit marché, c'est ça Que faites-vous ici euh, Je me balade. Et toi, qu'est-ce que tu fais là Sanctuaire d'Apollon. Un ensemble tout petit, mais dis quoi, elle est leur barbare, ton épin, c'est si ça y est. Le mortier et le pilon n'ont pas beaucoup changé au cours des deux derniers millénaires. Bon, c'était une statue romaine ou grecque, hein, euh, enfin romaine euh, en l'occurrence, donc euh, ne vous comparez pas. Give me a moment. Sorry, I'm such a mess. I just lost a patient and a dear friend. Julia, she was a good woman. She was poisoned. 
She came in here frothing at the mouth. Normally I'd treat her with resin of silphium, a rare plant which is perfect for this sort of thing. And I knew Dacius had some at his market stall, right around the corner. So I ran over there, but he just looks at me with this evil smile and says, That'll be a thousand denarii. There was no way I could afford that, and he knew it. Then that toad shrugs and says, Supply and demand. I guess you don't value your friends like that highly. Anywhere else, I'd just pay a thug to steal it from his stall. But there's no way I can do that down here with the golden rule. So all I could do is come back here and just watch her die. I kept on apologizing. And now I'll never know who poisoned her or how they managed to do it without breaking the golden rule. Or why she cursed that snake's cruel black eyes with her dying breath. Well, unless you have the power to bring someone back from the dead, there's really just one thing you can do. Get me that Silphium resin. I'm going to have another patient in here soon. Could be in the next day or in the next hour. And I will not allow this to happen again. I don't care how you get it, but you have to make it happen. Because if I lose another patient this way, I swear to the gods below, not even the golden rule will stop me from marching up to that genetric comfortuto and scratching his eyes out. Uh, I think a little bit. Merci. Sauvegarder la partie. Ok, du coup ça marche comme ça les sauvegardes. Et voilà, merci de nous avoir regardé pour le début de cette nouvelle aventure. Ce sera beaucoup plus calme que l'histoire d'avant, je pense. Au revoir YouTube et prenez soin de vous. Et bisous.